Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Angels in Politics broadcast. Remember, you are the news, and I am the creative and artistic manifestation, interpretation, expressionist. Um, actually, I'm none of those titles. I'm just... I am. That's all. I am that I am. But, um... I'm glad to have you here, and I'm glad to be outside feeling the elements. Of course, you know I like to stand out and feel the sky, feel the solar energy, be in front of the sun when it's night, too bright, but um, it's like 7-something, so the sun is going down and it feels good outside. Have you had your dinner? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, let me know what you're having. Uh, like... Reach out to me, put me on to that information. Only if you feel the need to. Like, you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do, of course. So, um, that's where I'm at with it. I was talking to my homie earlier today. Shouts out to my boy, Ant Illmatic. And, um, yo, man, it's just it's just a beautiful thing when you can reach out to to your peoples and they provide you with that information that is right on time, you know? That, that type of uh, go-getter, mo motivational, you know, light the fire type of convos. And, you know, like, no punches are being pulled, you know. It's, it's one of those conversations where it's like, nah, this may not necessarily be what you want to hear, but this is what you need to hear. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really about... It's really about that time, you know. I have been speaking to um, you all for a while. And I'm going to continue to be this way. Um, but I like the fact that I have this uh, platform, so to speak. Um, this multitude of platforms. But this keeps me accountable. I mean, I want you all to keep me accountable, of course, too. But, like, I mean, this keeps myself in check because now it's solidified. Now it is... Uh, digitized now is stored is archived and um the things that i'm saying the things that i put out to the universe the things that i'm speaking into existence they they are going to be you know forced to to materialize or i'm going to have to you know step into these these statements and turn them into definitive actions now because it's like Bro, you've been you've been chatting it, you've been speaking it, you've been saying a whole lot, but um, when you seen shit, where the where the bars at? You know what I'm saying? Where's the flow at? Where are the vignettes at? Where are the stories at? Like we haven't we haven't seen them, you know? Like we don't know them. Like for all we know, you're like chatting shit. For all we know, like you know what I'm saying? You could be a crab ass nigga. Like I mean, a whole lot of things, a multitude of things could be the case. But um, this platform, you know, speaking these things on your whatever uh, media outlet, whatever social, you know, channel that you want to promote, it's like, this is why you do it. And it made me think, you know, there are some people who are pretty, uh, to themselves, I would say conservative, as far as, as far as revealing their their goals or or what they want to do in the world or you know dreams aspirations things of that nature and i look at it you know in a i guess on a spectrum one they could be this way because they feel that if they tell other people if they if they put it out in the universe if they put it out on their social profile if they if they talk to their friends about it then um it might take away from what they're working on, they, they they might maybe feel like they're revealing too much of their special like sauce, or it might take away from their creativity, or it might I inhibit their their plans, you know. And I, and I've heard that before, like you know, keep your keep your projects, your personal or your passions, kind of to yourself because some people might influence you in a negative way, or some people might dilute your you know, fires of desires. Some people might, you know, just bring you down to their level because you are so 
uh, inspirational or you want to achieve more. So I feel like that is one end of the spectrum. The other end is I feel like some people don't talk about what they want to do or their dreams, plans, aspirations because of the accountability factor. It's like once you tell your homie that you want to start a business, it's like if that's your homie, he's going to he's going to like check you on it, you know, and it's not going to be like to be uh, to to be mean or to be like harmful, but it, it's going to be like, yo, bro, you you said two years ago you wanted to start a business. You said that five years ago you want to start a business. You, you said that, you know, for so long. But like, bro, it looks like you're not you're not really that into it. You're not really doing it or whatever the case may be. So it's like what's going down with it, you know, like what's going down with it. So I feel like that's a part of it. I think there are some people who withhold their their inner desires, their passions, because it's like, well, damn, now that I now that I put it on Facebook, now that I put it on Instagram, now that I put it on Twitter, now that I told the homie, now that it's on YouTube, like now people can hold me to it. Now I have to follow through. Or if I don't follow through, I'm going to have a multitude of people, you know, pull up on me on, on this. Like, they're, they're, they might pull my car. They're going to be like, yo, I thought you were working on that album. I thought you said you were writing that story. I thought you said you were working on that dance choreography. I thought you said you were going to be, like, painting that picture. I, I thought you were working on that clothing line. I thought you were working on that app. What happens to the application like and um, that type of pressure maybe which I, I feel like is good pressure but that pressure might be too much for some people um, it might be unwarranted it might be unwanted it may not be what they're what they're looking for so I don't know I, I'll say this and then I'll, I'll end this video like it's important on whatever end of the spectrum it is, whether you don't want to tell anybody because of the fear of accountability or you don't want to tell anybody just because you don't want people in your business or it could be anything else. Um, just, just, just put the work in, you know, put the work in dude. Like, and I'm, and I'm talking to myself right now, like continue putting the work in because in the initial phases, in the early phases, not even in the, I won't even just say early, like before people even know anything about you, like, or even know what you're doing, like you're going to have self-doubt before anything. You're going to have, you know, your, your family members or your, the people who are closest to you are going to provide you with the most like feedback and it could be constructive or it can be destructive it could be off-putting or it can be like yo those are the people who are going to put you on so it's like whatever the case may be like that's going to be your first hurdle your first hurdle is going to be internally intrinsically but then it's going to be like yo my mom and dad aren't really supporting what i'm doing or you like my homies my childhood friends aren't really fucking with what i'm doing or you know my my girlfriend or you know whoever you're dating they might be like yo i'm not really like <laughs> I don't really suggest you should go that route because I think you're not skilled in that in that capacity. I don't I don't think that's you. And if you feel that way, like or if that's happening, I think that's a good thing. You know, that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the doubt is a good thing. The 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 skepticism is a good thing. The reluctancy, all of that from your from the people around you, that's great because that shows like that shows fear. You know, fear, fear in a multitude of ways, fear that like they they might feel that because you have these desires, you're going to outgrow them. Fear that you might become something that they would never become fear that they that you might actually achieve your dreams. And then that puts them in a negative light because they're like, well, damn, I grew up and went to church with this dude. I, I stayed down the street from this dude. Oh, I, like I was on the school bus with this dude. I was I was doing the same thing as homegirl. And I this didn't happen for me. Or it can be fear of like internally, like if you if you are fearful of what you are like starting to do and you're stepping out on faith and you feel that type of internal conflict, that means that you're on the path to the right thing. That means you're, you're, you're on your path to doing the right things in this world. So I'll leave you with that. Like you, 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 you need to chase that fear. You need to look for that and whatever place in your heart or in your mind that you feel like, oh my gosh, this is like... Uh, you know, your heart starts to beat. You get the butterflies in your stomach. That means you're on the right. You're on the right path. 
you're on the right path. Everybody else is on autopilot and they're comfortable. Namaste. Namaskar.